The story is told of a king who intentionally had a boulder placed on a roadway. He then hid himself and watched to see if anyone would remove the huge rock. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers came and simply walked around him. Many loudly blamed the king for not keeping the roads clear. None did anything about the stone getting out of the way. Then a peasant came along carrying a load of vegetables. Upon reaching the boulder, the peasant laid down his burden and tried to move the stone to the side of the road. After much pushing and straining, he finally succeeded. After the peasant picked up his load of vegetables, he noticed a purse lying in the road where the boulder had been. The purse contained many gold coins and a note from the king indicating that the gold was for the person who removed the boulder from the roadway. The peasant learned what many of us never understand. Every obstacle is really an opportunity in disguise. Scripture states very clearly that in this life we will have problems. Jesus himself said, in this life you will experience many difficulties, but I have overcome the world. I can't find a scripture that says once we become a Christ follower that our problems and difficulties will go away. But I do discover that the Word tells me that we will have grace, strength, and resources to overcome. As a former athlete, I know that the pain of difficult drills and preparation led to the skills and the conditioning to be able to compete well and to win victories. The difficulties we face in life accomplishes two important things in our life. First of all, our personal difficulties give us a platform to encourage and help others facing similar situations. And secondly, we develop that calm assurance that when Jesus says, I will never leave you nor forsake you, He means it. Every boulder we move out of our path shows Him to be faithful and loving. Every problem we face and remove from our path makes us stronger and more effective because the Lord grants us help and provision with each task. What shall we say then? If God be for us, then who can be against us? Just a thought.